now that we have seen the demo of the mobile app and understood how it is interacting with the deployed machine learning model to predict the heart diseases let us look at a high level overview of the machine learning pipeline that we have followed for training the machine learning model the first step is data ingestion as we have discussed so we have used the data set from the uci machine learning repository to give a high level overview of what a data set is for easy understanding treat it as an excel sheet with each row representing a sample of data and each data sample will have various factors that contribute to the target's value in machine learning terminology these factors that contribute to the value of a target are called features and the target is called as a label specifically in this problem features are the readings collected from various lab tests at the hospital target or the label is the prediction of heart disease the data set that we have picked up from the uci machine learning repository is actually having 76 features in it and from most of the research papers that we have referred to there are 13 critical features that are highlighted so we have started using those 13 highlighted features instead of doing a feature selection process once again and the data set is having 303 records in the whole these 303 records or the data samples are divided into a training data set and a test data set we'll use the train data set during the training of the model and the test data set we will use it while evaluating the model's accuracy data pre-processing data pre-processing is a vast concept in itself we'll only scratch the surface in this tutorial we'll get into details of each of these pre-processing techniques in some other episodes feature selection feature encoding feature engineering feature normalization dimensionality reduction these are some of the tasks that we perform as part of data pre-processing so what is feature selection feature selection is a task in which generally we pick up those crucial features that have most influence on the value of the label out of all the features that are available in the data set there are a number of feature selection techniques that are available such as the filter methods wrapper methods embedded methods etc and as we have already discussed in this particular example we did not perform any feature selection because out of 76 features that are available in the data set many of the previously performed researchers have indicated the most crucial 13 features that affect the value of the label so we started off by picking those 13 features feature encoding as we know machine learning techniques are based on mathematics such as like calculus linear algebra probability etc and statistics in machine learning terms a non-numerical data is called as a categorical data it can again be subdivided into nominal categorical data or ordinal categorical data a categorical data such as the size of your t-shirt like small medium large excel double excel is an ordinal categorical data wherein you can have a certain amount of ordering in those categorical values small and then medium and then large and excel and double excel seasons in a year like summer winter rainy monsoon so this is a nominal categorical data where there is no ordering between those values so in feature encoding the task is to convert these non-numerical data into numerical data again similar to feature selection there are a number of techniques using which we can perform the feature encoding feature engineering is one more task that we perform as part of data pre-processing in this feature engineering task we create new features from the existing features in the data set for example if you are trying to predict the value of a house based on the features such as width of the plot length of the plot carpet area of the house number of bedrooms in the house etc 
we can create new features such as area of the house using width and length and then we can use this new feature area of the house as one of the features in predicting the value of the house like this creating new features from the existing features in the data set is called as feature engineering again similar to feature encoding feature selection there are a number of techniques that are available using which you can perform feature engineering feature normalization is one more task that we perform as part of data pre-processing in this task we convert the values of various features that are in different scales into a common scale which means if we have a feature whose values are in thousands and if we have another feature whose values are in tens before we train a machine learning model during the data pre-processing stage we will do the feature normalization such that we get the values of both these features into a common range so that while training the machine learning model will not take one of the feature which is having higher range of values as more important than the other feature which is having lesser range of values so feature normalization is very important step during the data pre-processing again there are a number of techniques for performing feature normalization which we will be looking at in some coming episodes dimensionality reduction this is the task in which we convert the data set with the higher dimensions into a lower dimension without losing any features in the data set in case of feature selection we are actually removing some of the features that contribute low towards the label whereas in dimensionality reduction we are not removing any features we are only converting the features to a lower dimension again there are very famous dimensionality reduction techniques like the PCA, etc., which we'll look at in some of the upcoming episodes. So, feature encoding, feature engineering, feature normalization, feature selection, dimensionality reduction. So, these are some of the pre processing techniques that we have to perform before we start training the model.